So let me show you how well this works. And so what we're gonna do is we're going to refrigerate a real food load. I've got a bottle of wine. I have a dozen eggs, a pie, a couple of packs of hot dogs, a six pack of beer, and a six pack of Coke. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna place this temperature probe inside of the Coke, and we're gonna see how long it takes to bring this load down from room temperature down to about 37, 38 degrees Fahrenheit, which is a good temperature for a refrigerator. Waterproof hatch that allows us to store items so we can put tools and extra line, supplies, and fall weather gear. But as I said, this requires a lot of experimentation. I mean, screw up. It's usually a nice thing to know that you've got plenty of chocolate to work with. So I always recommend ordering this by the kilo and because you probably will find that even if you do a good job and you like the result, practice makes perfect. Hi, we did it. One hundred thousand subscribers. bulk of the material uh, is going to come uh, through this tube, but by uh, Alex watching the end of the tube, we can make sure that it doesn't pick up a lot of extra debris. You can get some in the distiller, but if you get a lot, it tend to burn during the distillation process. The distiller are a little bit more challenging to clean the bottom. Now we started out with, as I said, about uh, two gallons of water, about five kilograms of bananas, and uh, out of that total Out of that, I expect based on the start time and the bananas and the sugar content, that we should end up getting about two liters of fairly strong spirits. This is a desiccant-based air conditioning system.
and even within a few minutes you'll begin to see that color develop. After about a week, you'll see this. This is some of the low temperature, uh, I believe this is 180 degree toast. This was a 220 toast. And within about a week, you begin to get a very nice rich color here and you can begin to taste the flavors. And as you can see, the beam is about a third of the diameter of the strip. If I introduce some turbulence into the beam, you can see that not only does the beam defocus substantially, and you can see that in the beam that moves across the room, as well as the fact that you can see a good half of the energy doesn't even hit the strip. One, two, three, three. No question, the stuff works. And it does make you smile, you can't help it. thermonuclear fusion energy. And it's going to be firing in a few seconds here. I've got it on a fairly low, but I If you saw the camera shake, that was my cameraman being shocked a little bit by the power levels. as well as an enormous number of batteries. So we tried to decide what we're gonna do with it, and we came up with this.
happy building. And have a great afternoon. See ya. Today what I want to talk about is epoxy. So for something completely different, fog machine. Now, as I said, you can make these things bigger. To begin with, when we moved from the Midwest about 15 years ago to New England, we moved from a rather large house to a rather small and quaint timber frame home uh, that had a lot of land associated with it. But it did not have enough storage space, it did not have a garage, it did not have a shop or a laboratory. And so what we did is we took a couple of acres, cleared the trees, took the trees to a local uh, lumber mill, had the lumber um, cut up, stick stacked to dry for about a year, and then uh, it was then milled into the lumber that you see that makes up the inside of this room. With the exception of the particle board and the plywood and the doors, everything that you see in here was uh, obtained from the trees that were harvested from this area, including even the tables that are in this room were made from those very trees. The underlying structure of this building is a timber frame skeleton. And as you can see in the ceiling and some of the walls, the very large posts and beams that make up the structure of the building. I really think you're gonna like this video today.
Let's try it. <laughs> How can you not smile? <laughs> Ah. Hi, today I'm going to talk to you about boats. 